One day, when Abraham woke up, he had a feeling that Allah wanted him to do something. He asked Hajar to get herself and baby Ismail ready for a long journey. Abraham, Hajar and the baby in her arms kept walking and walking for a long time until they reached the desert of the Arabian Peninsula and came to a dry valley having no fruit, no trees, no food and no water. The valley had no sign of life. After Abraham had helped his wife and child off the camel, he left them with a small amount of food and water, which was hardly enough for two days. He turned around and walked away. His wife hurried after him asking, Where are you going, Abraham? Leaving us in this barren valley. Abraham did not answer her and continued walking. She repeated what she had said, but he remained silent. Finally, she understood that he was not acting on his own idea. She realized that Allah had commanded him to do this. She asked him, Did Allah command you to do so? He replied, Yes. Then his great wife said, We are not going to be lost, since Allah, who has commanded you, is with us. Abraham was very sad while he was walking home because he had left his wife and son in a place with no other people. He asked Allah to give Hajar and his baby plenty of fruits and to send people with good hearts to them. Hajar began to drink from the water that Abraham had left so she could feed Ismail her milk. Soon, the water was finished and both she and her baby became very thirsty. Her baby began to cry, so she went to a close hill called Al Marwa and hoped that she might find somebody, but she did not find anyone. She kept running from Al Marwa to the other end called Al Safa seven times. When she reached Al Marwa for the last time, she heard a voice and so she kept quiet to hear where the voice was coming from. She heard the voice again and said, Oh, whoever you may be, you have made me hear your voice. Have you got something to help me? And behold, she saw an angel digging the earth till water flowed from that place. She started to make something like a basin around it and filled her water skin with water. Some people traveling through Mecca saw birds flying around Al Marwa and thought the birds must be flying around water. They were right. When they arrived at the small well, they found a woman near the well with a baby. They asked Hajar if they could drink from it. Hajar allowed them and many people came to live with Hajar and Ismail in Al Marwa. Now she and Ismail were not alone anymore. 